simple. Here comes a down screen right now. Stop right here. Your man is clearly sending a down screen. You've got to get attached and show so Clay Thompson can't curl. He has to go out and this man can chase. Okay? But again, you allow you don't show so Clay Thompson can curl right into a layup. Horrible defense here. What is this? Okay, if you're hedging this ball screen, you cannot let him turn the corner. You got to get up and cut his dribble off here. We'll have backside help uh, right here, okay, uh, and then we're good. Or if you want, or you, if you don't want to hedge, then you can switch. This player is easily underneath, battling for real estate, battling for real estate. So you're right here, and then all you got to do is just get up, cut this player's dribble off, and send them right into where the lane is clogged right here, okay. But this is like a half hedge, but you let him turn the corner, so obviously it's going to result in a disaster. Bad transition defense. Watch Jared Allen and Darius Garland right here. You got to sprint back. You should be right at the three point line, ready to guard. But look at Jared Allen right. Look at look at look at Darius Garland. Like Darius Garland should already be at the three point line here. Okay, uh, ready to guard with his back to the baseline. But Jared Allen is going to get turned around. Darius Garland finally gets to the three-point line, but by then it's too late. See, if Jer Dar Darius Garland is already with his back to the baseline, okay, on the rotation of this pass, he can get up. But he, be, look at this. Because he's because he's jogging, now look. Now he's going to be late to get up to Steph Curry, and it's just going to result in a three. Another down screen. This is not, look at, you got to, sh your man is clearly setting a down screen. Get up and show. So Steph Curry cannot curl he has to go out, and the chase can happen. When you don't show, now Steph Curry can curl. Now rip and go and get right into the lane, uh, and it's an and, uh, or it's a two-shot foul for Golden State. Okay, again, th there's no need to switch a down screen. Okay, first of all, if this was a down screen right here, just chase, just show, okay? There's no need to switch. There's absolutely no need to switch, but if someone calls out switch, you have to switch. It is your boom and boom. All right, so this is either a miscommunication or no communication at all because look what happens. We got two people coming to Steph Curry, okay? There's not even a down screen being set, so there's nothing to do here. You're just switching nothing, but you have a horrible switch anyways, and it leads to an easy two. All right, if you're Darius Garland, this is why you always got to have your pointers out, right? Look at the stop right here, okay? You're not seeing Steph Curry right now. I'm pointing. I'm, I'm pointing at ball, pointing at man. I'm seeing both. So I'm always able to react. I can never, ever lose sight of Steph Curry. By the way, the other thing is on this switch, actually you're in drop coverage, which it looks like it ends up being a switch. Look at right here. If Lowry Markinen just gets underneath, Jared Allen's here, okay? Now he can push him this way where there's no place to go. There's a gap defender right there. Instead, he gets beat baseline. Now, nothing should happen. There's no one doubling at the rim. So this is really Darius Garland again. See, Darius Garland's not seeing Steph Curry. Pointers out. Be pointing at ball, pointing at man. Head on a swivel. You're never taking your eye up either for more than a second. But he loses Steph Curry, and that's just a quick uh, pump fake and wide open three. Horrible transition defense. This is what happens when there's no communication. Look at the stop. Why are two people going to the ball here? Okay? One person's fine. This player should be not... Jared Allen, should, there's got to be talking. Jared Allen, okay, Kevin Love should say, I got ball. So Jared Allen knows to go here. Why are two people, well, why are these two people just standing in the middle of nowhere? Okay, Kevin Love, you should be announcing, you got ball. So you're going with this man. Jared Allen's going to stay here. But instead, two, two, both Cavs players stay in the paint. So now what? Now there's nobody to defend this ball screen. I mean, we could switch this ball screen, be underneath, push him into the gaps, or we could hedge this ball screen. Backside help here. This player slides down. I don't know, but you can't do anything with your ball screen defense when we've got two people just standing in the paint and nobody guarding the screener. So now it's just going to be a drive to the rim, okay? And now look, now it's an easy drive to the rim. Jared Allen has to go help. That leads to an easy offensive rebound tap back and a catch and shoot three for Steph Curry. This is why you don't guard beyond the three point line, okay? So look at you're guarding the ball right here. Okay, ball gets swung over here. Stop. You rotate on the rotation of the ball. Shell drill. Get underneath the three-point line with your back to the baseline. If they kick it back out, you're able to easily get back out. But drop here because look what happens. When Andrew Wiggins comes this way, 
you're not, look, at if you had dropped with your back to the baseline, now I can stunt, recover, dribbles picked up. But now you let Andrew Wiggins through the lane, and it's going to lead to a two-shot foul. First of all, this is bad transition defense. You're Darius Garland. You can never jog back guarding Steph Curry. you got to sprint, sprint, so you have the angle. See, look, look at that jogging, that jogging, that jogging. If you had sprinted back here, boom, you're ready to guard one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so mistake number two is a stop. There should be no airspace between you and Steph Curry. Get up. Guide him this way. I got gap defenders here and here. But you are going to sag off a little bit when, the, when you just can just direct him right into gap help. Okay, and it eventually leads to a Steph Curry three. Okay, so we got a lot of mistakes on this. Look at So the Warriors are going to set a screen here. Steph Curry hasn't put the ball on the floor yet, okay? You do not, do not, this is trapping, okay? You don't start to hedge until Steph Curry puts it on the floor and then you hedge. So this is trapping. But still, our backline defense has to be ready if you're trapping. So Seti Oseman traps, there should, needs to be a backside defender here. This Cavs player should be able to occupy these two players two passes away. You got to close up. This is a trap, okay? You, this is trapping. Steph Curry hasn't even put the ball on the floor yet. So you got to close this off, make these passes difficult, but you can't be guarding two passes away. You got to guard one pass away when you trap, which is what you're what the Cavs are doing, okay? And but there's no backside help. So now look, now the Warriors have numbers and Kevon Looney is able to get right there, then get an easy offensive rebound. The defense is scrambling and it's just going to lead to an easy shot in the lane for two. So on a pick and pop, drop coverage is tough. I mean, I guess you want to X out here. This player can't gamble. You got to rotate over, and this, and this player is going to rotate over here, okay? Or this player rotates up, this player rotates up, and this player drops over here. I don't know, but this is a horrible gamble. And because you know you're in drop coverage with a terrible gamble, it's going to lead. Look at what does that do? Now that means we have two war. That gamble means we have two Warriors players boxing out. Uh, with one Cavalier to box him out. And now it's an easy offensive rebound and a wide open catch and shoot three. So, I mean, again, all of the pick and pops are very difficult to defend on drop coverage. Okay? So just switch this screen. Get up, close Steph Curry's dribble off. This player's underneath. Okay? And now he's just standing in the gaps. So right now when this player cuts off Steph Curry's dribble, where is he? He can't go anywhere. There's just a defender right here in the gaps. Okay, so just switch the screen. But instead, you're in drop coverage. Your backside helps a disaster because that's an awful gamble. And now there's not enough bodies to box out these Warriors players. Uh, and it just results in an open three. Okay, offensive rebound situations are just like fast break. You've got to communicate. Stop. Golden State clearly has this ball. So go to a body. Go to a body. You're guarding a body. Okay? That's how it works. You got to go to a body. Golden State has the ball. Don't get this player's guarding here. This player needs to guard here, certainly because that's Steph Curry. And this player needs to guard here. But look what happens. This player just camps out underneath. Just like in transition, you're not getting back to a random spot off an offensive rebound. You're not just going to stand in a random spot. Go to a body. But instead, look what happens. This player is able to cut because Evan Mobley doesn't move, and it leads to an and one for Golden State. This is like something you learn in, like, kindergarten when you learn basketball, okay? This player is just going to take this player, use his butt, and box him out. This player has this player, use his butt, and box him out. This player has got to take the shooter, use his butt, and box him out. But look what happens. Nobody boxes out the shooter on this free throw. How is this even possible? So now this player is able to get an easy offensive rebound and put back. That's insane. What is Kevin Love doing? Okay, first of all, stop. Why is Kevin Love standing here? His man's here, okay? He should be up to the free throw line. And then again, pointers. You can still be in the gap here if you're at the free throw line. Stunt, recover, okay? But again, pointers out. Seeing ball, seeing man, okay? Not taking eye off either for more than a second. When that happens, okay? And again, this is why we want our back to the baseline so it's easier for us to see both. His back is to the sideline, so now look. Now he's just going to simply get beat back door, and it's a layup. Oh, my God, another down screen. Look at this. Your man is setting a down screen clearly. Get attached, show. So Steph Curry has to go out this way and cannot curl, okay? So this chase can happen, but you don't show. So Steph Curry is able to curl right off of it, get right into the lane, and it's an easy layup. Horrendous transition defense, okay? First of all, why is this player jogging right here? Okay, look at look at this jogging, jogging, jogging. Stop. 
Lowry Markkinen should be yelling, should be yelling early, like right now, to be yelling at this player to sprint over here because I got two Warriors this way. Transition defense, all about communication. So Lowry Markkinen was saying sprint this way to get to this man, but this player is just going to jog. I'm going to assume Lowry Markkinen never said anything, so it's an easy drive right to the rim for two. Not getting back to random spots on the floor. You're getting back to bodies. Let's. I can't. I. I don't see this player till late, but you can see how he got back to a random spot on the floor, not onto a body. Okay, stop. Look at right here. See how he's just standing in the middle of nowhere? No. You should be getting back to a body over here. Okay, and that happens earlier. That happens right now. Right now, you're finding a body. Everyone's communicating who's guarding who. You might get cross-matched. But again, you're just getting back to a random spot on the floor right here, not to a body. So this player's able to catch it, get right into the lane, and another easy layup. Okay, so... This isn't even, if this was a dribble handoff screen, okay, you want to switch, that's fine. Okay, now, if you, if Lowry Markkinen should be saying switch now. And that means that as soon as you hear switch, this player's up, this player's underneath. Okay, that's what happens as soon as you hear switch. If Lowry Markkinen doesn't say switch, you can never assume someone's switching. Okay, now this ends up being a fake dribble handoff, and this player's just going to get right to the rim for two. But again, if, if Lowry Markkinen said switch, then Lowry Markkinen's immediately got to come up and you got to immediately come down. Look what happens when there's a miscommunication or no communication at all. I don't know what happens, but this awful defense happens and it's going to draw help and an open catch and shoot three. Absolutely no need to switch a down screen, okay? Stop. Again, Jared Allen, your man is setting a down screen. Get a touch, show with your arms out. So Clay Thompson has to go out and this chase can happen. Okay, but because you don't show, now you have to switch. Stop. So now we have a mismatch. All right. So this player here needs you rotate on the ball. You're guarding the ball. Now you're not. So drop down here. Jared Allen should be up, forcing Clay Thompson this way, right into a gap defender right here. Okay. You didn't need to switch this down screen anyways, but you did. Okay. And now we have a mismatch. So I need this player to rotate with the ball down here. Jared Allen is up. Forcing Clay Thompson this way, where I have ga- where I have gap defenders, okay. But instead, Jared Allen's going to let Clay Thompson cl- clear it out, and now he's going to blow by him, and it's going to be a dunk. Stupid drop coverage. All right, here you go. So on this pick and pop, look what happens. This player here is going to have to get out. He's never going to be able to get out in time, and it's going to result in a drive in a lane and an easy kick out three. So, again, this is Steph Curry. We really don't want to be running drop coverage anyways, okay? We can switch. This player can get underneath. And now, look, now I can force Steph Curry either this way into a gap defender or that way into a gap defender because this player is switching underneath, okay? Or we can hedge, okay? Push Steph Curry out. This backside defender can just step up a little bit, okay? If um, if this player cuts and Steph Curry is able to make a lob pass over the top, we yell out, cutter, cutter, cutter. This player sinks down, and then the backside defender then X's out somewhere over here. But you're in drop coverage, so look. Now there's no time for this player to get over, and there's really no time by the time this player realizes he needs to get up for him to get over. So now it's just rip and go drive, draw help, and that opens up the three-point line. So you switch this ball screen. Where are you getting beat? Stop. If you're Jared Allen, okay, Lowry Markinen needs to sink down, back totally to the baseline. Pointer fingers out. Ball and man seeing both. Jared Allen's got to cut Steph Curry's dribble off and send him into gap help right here where Larry Markinen is sunk down, okay? And now you're, you're again, you're right, in, you're right into a gap defender. So now I can stunt, recover. There's really no place to go. You're just running into a wall right here, okay? So I'm up and I'm cutting Steph Curry's dribble off this way, all right? But instead, you're going to get beat away from gap help and you have no chance and it's a layup. Uh, you keep your back to the baseline. Right here, you're good, okay? But look what happens here. Look Now look at my back. It is towards the sideline. I, I have got to keep my back to the baseline as I'm running through here, okay? Because look, as this player comes through, I need to be able to stunt, and this dribble needs to get picked up right now, okay? So I can stunt, and I can still stay with my man, all right? But instead, you let this dribble, you keep his dribble alive, and now it's an open jumper. Stupid drop coverage. You have to switch this ball screen. Stop. Okay? This player's got to get up and guard Steph Curry. This player's underneath. Okay? 
jam for real estate, jam for real estate. So you can be somewhere around here. So now this player can get up, send Seth Curry this way, right into where the lane is clogged, okay? But instead, you're in this stupid drop coverage that draws Jared Allen a double team, and now this player is able to get open, and it's a, just an easy jumper that Jared Allen can't really ever contest. You're Lowry Mark, and you got to cut off the dribble here, okay? So right now, Jared Allen's got to be sending, send him left, send him left. Look at how much I'm cutting the court. I mean, this is the o I am only letting Clay Thompson use this part of the court because Jared Allen's in the gaps, okay? So I'm cutting this area off, and I'm forcing him this way where I have gap defenders everywhere, okay? But instead, you send them away from your gap defense, you don't cut the floor like that, and you end up with a jumper. Double transition defense, you got to communicate. So right now, Evan Mobley's got to say, I got the ball, I got the ball. So this Lowry marketing can stay wide. Okay, look at this. Lowry, uh, Evan Mobley's fine. Just stay with the ball. Lowry marketing should be way over here. Again, you're not getting back to random spots on the floor. You're getting back to bodies. So Evan Mobley's got the ball uh, right here. Lowry Markin can just can just slide over here. He doesn't have to be all the way out here, but he's got to be way more closer to a body right here. So when this flip pass gets made, boom, I'm ready to guard. But instead, Lowry, we have two people guarding the ball, nobody guarding Clay Thompson, so it's an open three. Right here, you got to cut the dribble off right away. Stop right now. Okay, I'm not letting Steph Curry go anywhere this way. I'm cutting the dribble off and sending him right here to nowhere where I have a gap defender. But look what happens. You let Steph Curry go this way, so now he's further away from this gap defender. And now he's just going to split right through with his dribble alive, and he draws a two-shot foul. Yeah, we got a cross screen coming right here. Steph Curry sets the cross screen right there. Okay, there's your cross screen. So this player just needs to jam this man off his spot so this player can get on the other side. Look what happens when you don't jam your man coming off this cross screen. So he's just going to get right to the rim for two. We kind of get a surprise stagger screen going. All right, here's the stagger screen. So really, you guard this by going under the first, over the second, and this player stays attached and shows. But this player is going to go over the first, okay? So you got you have to switch this. Right now, Jared Allen has to come up, and you've got to immediately get underneath because I need you to battle for real estate, battle for real estate, battle for real estate. So you're somewhere eh, around here. So Jared Allen can get up and send Steph Curry this way, where I should have a gap defender right here, as I just showed, and a gap defender right here. But instead, you're not going to switch. Two people are going to go to Steph Curry, which means that player's wide open, and it's a two-shot foul. Add transition defense, so we can't have two people colliding on the ball right here, okay? Darius Garland's got the ball. Fine. So Darius Garland has the ball, okay, and Seti Osman can kind of stay wide. Jared Allen, now you're not getting back to a random spot on the floor. Trail this way, okay? So let's back it up. So right now, Jared Allen should be, Darius Garland right now should be announcing, I've got the ball, okay? Then Jared Allen can say, I've got this player and I've got this player. But again, you can see there's no communication in transition because we got two people guarding the ball, Jared Allen just getting back to a random spot on the floor, and now that opens up a wide open corner three. Just no need to switch this down screen, okay? First of all, the player doesn't even set a down screen, okay? So right here, all you've got to do is just stay attached to Steph Curry, okay? If he goes and sets a down screen, you're attached, and then you're showing, and this player's chasing, okay? The pro there's You're switching nothing here. You're, but again, if you're going to switch, then it's got to be right now. you got to step over, and you got to step up, Okay? There's no need to switch this because if this does become a down, you're just staying with Steph Curry and you're just chasing. Because if he does set a down screen, we're just going to show and your chase can come through. But you can see we get a late switch off of nothing and it leads to a layup. When a team gets an offensive rebound, it's just like transition. You have to communicate. Stop right now. So right now this player is here. This player's here. Someone's got to tell Seti Oseman to get over here. Okay, and either he guards Steph Curry or he's going to come over here and get into the gaps on Steph Curry. So Kevin Love can just gingerly come out and Kevin Love's got to identify, I got Steph Curry. If he wants to say, I got Steph Curry, then go take Steph Curry. Okay, and then Seti Oseman, who should be over here, I can then guide right into Seti Oseman, who's in the gaps for me. But Seti Oseman never comes over here because there's no communication. Kevin Love is going to sprint to go to Steph Curry, which just ends up in a disaster, and it's an easy jumper. Again, you got it doesn't matter who the player is, because if you're in position, you can always get out to the three-point line. 
So right here, you're guarding the ball. Now I'm rotating, okay? I'm rotating down just a little bit. I'm not all the way down here. I'm just rotating a little bit. So that when this player comes this way, I without moving, I can stunt without moving, just jab, get the dribble picked up, and I have plenty of time to recover back out where I'm not giving up a catch-and-shoot three. Like, people need to understand that. You, by you standing way out here, you're just giving up a driving lane that is unnecessary because if you just drop a little bit, okay, now you're here. Now this you can jab and easily recover back to Steph Curry. You're not giving up anything open, but you stay outside the three-point line, so now there's an easy driving lane, and it's two points. Head transition defense here. If you're Seti Oseman, you've got to sprint, sprint, sprint back, so your back's to the baseline. See, look what happens here. Okay, so see how Seti Oseman's backpedaling? All right, look what, let's see when the Golden State gets the ball. Okay, Seti Oseman's going to backpedal. No, sprint, sprint, sprint. See how he's not sprinting back? He's kind of light jaw. If he had sprinted back, now his back's to the baseline. He's, his back's to the baseline, okay? And now, if, now, he's, now he can guard both. So now if this player comes this way, I can stunt. I can also try and recover, okay? But my back has to be to the baseline, so I have a chance. Okay, maybe I don't commit to anything. All right, but at least I'm I, I I am. It's a there's no gap right here to split through. Okay, you're opened up with your back to the baseline. And then if the ball gets swung here, you can move over here. Darius Garland can come here, and Kevin Love can trail onto this last player here. But because Darius Garland isn't fully back because he backpedaled and didn't sprint back, now there's this little this lane that should never be there, and it leads to a layup. And Darius Garland, why are you jogging? You have to sprint, 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 sprint back. There, nothing bad happens when you sprint back. Look at this jogging. Look at where this jogging comes. Look at how he's jogging. Look at how, look at, if he had been sprinting back the whole way, now he's in front of Steph Curry and he can box out, right? Then he can box him out. But look what happens. Because he's just lightly jogging, look, now it's Steph Curry who's going to box him out for an offensive rebound. Where if he had sprinted back, the whole way, continued to sprint back, got in front of Steph Curry, now he can box out. But nope, you jog back, so now Steph Curry can box you out, and it's the, and he, oh, actually, yeah, that is Steph Curry, and it's an easy put back for a layup. Again, down screen, you don't go up the gut. You're always chasing. This player should be up and showing, okay? But when you go up the gut, look what happens. See the angle? Look at this. Now Steph Curry's just going to rip, go right into the lane, draw a double team. So now that, now that player has to scramble and is out of position, and it leads to two. Play your man straight up one-on-one. -on -one. Stop, okay? Right now you're fine, okay? But look what happens. See, you can look at what Lowry Markin's doing. He's starting, see how he's leaning towards this screen? This screen that, you know, never gets set. So... Again, play him one-on-one. -on -one. If this player comes and sets a screen, our ball screen defense will execute and we get a stop. But Lowry Markinen is going to start feeling out a screen that never gets set. So now he's out of position to guard Andre Iguodala, who's just going to step back and hit a three. And when the ball goes in the post, you want to be halfway between your... Like right now, look at this. Why is this player face guarding? Okay, look, stop. Right now, I'm open up. Now my back's to the sideline, okay? I'm opened up, pointing at ball, pointing at man. So when this player comes through, I'm already in position. Stunt, dribble get gets picked up outside the lane. Easy recovery. Instead, look what happens. You're late to, to stunt, so now this player's already in the lane, and it leads to a layup. <sighs> down screen. This is so easy. What, Jared, what are you, your man is clearly setting a down screen right here. Okay? Get attached, show. So Clay Thompson has to go out, and this chase can happen. But instead, you don't show, so look, Clay, this chase can't happen because Clay Thompson is able to curl right off of it. Now Jared Allen has to step up and guard the ball. There's no one to guard right here, and it's going to lead to an easy layup. Cannot be in drop coverage on Clay Thompson. Are you kidding me? Okay, so let's take a look. How do we want to defend this? Jared Allen can get up. This player can switch. Battle for real estate. Battle for real estate. Battle for real estate. Because now you're somewhere here, and Jared Allen can get up, cut Clay Thompson's dribble off, and send him right here where there's no place to go. Okay? Or I can hedge this screen, push Clay Thompson out, backside defender right here. This player slides down and occupies these two uh, Warriors players two passes away. So switch, hedge, nah, drop coverage, give him a wide open three.
cross screen. You got to defend this. Stop. Here's your cross screen. What is Darius Garland doing? You got to get attached to your man and jam this player as he comes through the cross screen, knocking him off his spot so this player can get on the other side. But you let this player easily through the cross screen, so now this player is going to catch it too low, and it's going to result in a two shot foul for Golden State. So bad in transition. Don't go towards the ball. Golden State has the ball. Look at this player in this. So the player that you're about to see in the picture should be sprinting back. Back, back, back. Okay? Look at this. Look at this gamble towards the ball. No. Back, back, back. So you can guard Steph Curry. This trailer is gonna is going to get back. But instead you go towards the ball, and I mean now it's just a layup. Right. I mean, again, you got to be in the gaps here. Stop. You slide with your man this way. So when Steph Curry comes this way, you're just jabbing to get the dribble picked up, recovering. You're not switching on to him. This player is literally going to say, yeah, you just switch on to him when he comes here. No, this player needs to be up the line so he can stunt at Steph Curry's drive and recover. There's no place to go. His dribble's picked up. But the Cavs are going to, like, switch here, and now Steph Curry's going to get into his patented step-back jumper. 